welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Sally Lee. And I'm Louise Collin. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. And today, Sally will be reading some of the special poems she has written. Perspective. <coughs> Tractor patterns stripe the pasture with long rows of short, dark green grass and of sandy shades of dried cut stalks, a delicate pattern over the generally smooth look of the wide cut field stretched out into distance. Grass near the creek is rich, delicious, so a preferred grazing place. Brown bodies show clear against the green grasses, muzzles and hooves hidden in the once, once more growing grass. From our windows at the edge of the forest, the horses appear small, perspective active in the space between us. Though I know the distance is not great, easily walked unless the grass is high. Perspective makes the small seem remote, distant, far across a valley, up on a mountainside, in paintings, distant tiny houses, people, sailboats, in another realm, not related to the viewer's place, not available, not part of immediate life. Were I to paint in acrylics or oils, my friends the brown horses, with the tree line of the creek behind them, and beyond that the wooded hills, slightly blue in the pale mists of this cloudy day, a viewer might feel the horses unknown. The painting would convey falsehood, for these friends come up every day or two from their delicious, rich grasses to receive some grain, a carrot, friendly words, and pats. They munch feed in their stalls, out again comically roll in the dirt, stop by the watering trough for a cool drink, and wander slowly back to their grazing, content and cared for. Two spirits here by Louise Strang from her book of the same title. Against the barn, the setting sun shines shadows on the wall. Our shapes divine and dark and light, no details, none at all. Just moving silhouettes, we walk across a lot, no hint of talk. Two spirits here, my horse and I. Our images portray, portrayed yet finding under twilight sky that deepens shade by shade. No moon comes forth with soft to shine to show us here to stretch our time. No dim nor bright, all's dark tonight. There is no shadow without light. Bricks. Sturdy, heavy, hard, smooth, rough, narrow, wide, ignored as ordinary, yet formed with ancient skills. Bricks offer security without aggression. White to black, rose to cream to gray, touches of purple, magenta, vermilion. The history and moods of earth are revealed in, by their presence. Used for strength, yet brittle. Bricks shed chips when tumbled but last centuries stack tightly. They stand steady, offer the pleasures of earth, a sense of time, rarely intrude, simply wait for the observer's eye. Picking Blackberries by Mary Lane. I think of picking blackberries, plunging into grass and weeds and scratchy vines, trying to fill my small tin bucket first before the others, keeping the dog with me in case of snakes, which no matter what the old ones said, would hate eat bite chunks from my ankles and eat them. I think of walking home across the field with berries to be baked under batter and served with cream. Stimulus. Wherefore? Moonlight coffee, wind, chocolate, dawn, tea, rainbows, sugar at fingertips, or by rare chance, cold water, 
fragrance of baking, sunlight patterning through leaves. But then why, lethargic body, mind, heart, waking, drugged with weariness or its opposite, oversleeping? Meanwhile, the daydreaming mind envisions plans ambitious. Lovely, the body strain, stretches and squirms, feels the smooth sheets, the cool room, rises, staggers an uneasy balance, then off to its morning chores of scrambled eggs, buttered toast, and the imagination begins to recoil with horror at the stimulus notions of the two-mile run in the morning fog, or morning of baking a three-layer cake, or finish the landscape painting, the child's Sunday dress, the attempt at a sonata. The whole person shrinks back, settles for the op-ed page of the, United, of the New York Times, though the stubborn mind holds an image of moonlight bright in the forest. Sojourn on the Beach by Susie Margaret Ross. Mexico filled my dreams this week. Of course, that prompted dreams of you as well. Lying on the sand with your feet in the water, your lying, my unquestioning heart. Of course, that prompted dreams of you as well, your arms sheltering me from your untruths, you lying, my unquestioning heart. How ugly that masquerade. Your arms sheltering me from the untruths, your soft voice lulling me to sleep. How ugly that masquerade. You're lying, flooding my heart ears with lies. Your soft voice lulling me to sleep, lying on the sand with your feet in the water. You're lying, flooding my ears with lies. Mexico filled my dreams this week. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you join us again soon. Thank you.